Hello everybody and welcome to another Kukali Bushcraft video from here in Finnish Lapland. Okay, so we've got a knife here today. It's called the Finn Bear, but it's not Finnish. It's made in Taiwan. But this is the Cold Steel Finn Bear. It's modelled on the Cold Steel Sisu, which in turn is modelled on this knife. This is the Tapio Vercalapoco. I have a video on this as if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, you see the similarities in the handle shape and uh, yeah, and the, the blade profile. Uh, the grind's different. This is the kind of typical Finnish sabre grind, high scandy grind, whatever you'd like to call it. And this is a hollow grind. This, I think, is my preferred grind for for a poco, uh, for a general bushcraft knife. Uh, but this this works also. Uh, it's very it's very very light. It's but it's only got about a quarter tang, so not the strongest. You'll have to treat it with a little bit of caution when it comes to heavy use tasks. Okay, cold steel fin bear makes lovely feathers. Two and a half months or so I've been using this knife for. So I've been using it for a utility knife at work, which is where a lot of my knives get a lot of abuse. But I've also been using it for hiking, camping, uh, feather sticks, fire prep, you know, tent pegs, pot hangers, all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Easy peasy. A while ago I did a review of the cold steel roach belly and I found the edge retention wasn't very good. Uh, the edge retention of the fin bear seems to be a lot better. Whether my roach belly was a lemon or maybe it's down to edge geometry, I just don't know. I can't actually find my roach belly at the moment. So I did a little comparison with the fin bear going up against a Mora craft line. Got these two knives sharpened up so as they're a similar sharpness, and this is uh, absolutely not scientific at all. There we go. This is not scientific at all, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cutting, and what I've got is this stuff what is it i'm not too sure <laughs> i was hoping to find some rope lying around the place some old rope uh, but i think i think what this is is recycled paper pulp made into a fabric uh, which we use for making uh, for making teepees basically I do think that was a pretty good choice of material. Uh, so what did I find? This seemed to actually cut it better. Maybe a little bit thinner behind the cutting edge. Uh, and I think they both have dulled a little bit. Uh, I felt the Mora started feeling a little bit duller after the second cut. But I do think... <laughs> That seeing as I did the motor first, I think I got a little bit better technique when I started using this, so I'm not too sure. But like I said, nothing too scientific. So the motor is still cutting paper really quite nicely.
so is the cold stale, which means I'm going to have to cut more of that stuff. So when I started, they were uh, they were both sharp enough to uh, take hairs off my leg, uh, which they still are, but only just. Uh, but they seem to be pretty pretty even. I'm gonna go and cut another five pieces of that stuff, and you don't have to watch that again. I'm not gonna bother to record it. Okay, so they're both cutting not as well as they were. Uh, they're both cutting a lot better than I expected, to be honest. That stuff's pretty tough, and it looks like something that a duller knife blade. It looks like carpet. You know, and carpet is really good for dulling knife blades. And yeah, they've uh, both seem to have done really well. Far better than I expected. I think maybe the Mora might have done a little tiny bit better, you know, but the Mora might have been a tiny bit sharper to start off with. Yeah, it's really hard to say. And like I say, with this kind of test, you can tell if a knife's junk, but to compare to similar knives, pretty much impossible. Close up of the blade. German 4116 steel made in Taiwan. Interesting handle shape. Not uncomfortable. No finger guard as if that worries you. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm used to using finished porcos. Let's have a closer look at the sheath. Okay, so what we've got here is a good budget friendly utility knife. Is it better than a mortar? Well, it's different to a mortar. Uh, I really like mortars. Uh, so Scandi grind would be better for carving. Yeah. So I'm using quite an expensive Scandi grind here, so that's not really a fair comparison. Uh, the edge retention was much better than I expected. Much better than I expected. Uh, nice and easy to sharpen. And it makes really, really, really nice feathers. You can get them really quite nice and fine. Really nice control. Battening. Well, this is uh, this is like a quarter tang, so you know I wouldn't really batten with anything much thicker than that. I'm I'm joking, but really battening only with extreme caution. More knives, I do think will take a little bit more, a bit more abuse, slightly longer tang and. Also, I trust mowers a lot more than I trust this because basically I've been using them for many, many years and I've really put them through the paces and they don't seem to break. So, yeah, but I would, I would urge caution. 
with doing any real rough stuff with this knife. Okay, well, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, well, I'll see you all again soon and bye for now.